choice of next election is clear, is that there is an agenda for change and a plan for change coming out from the Conservative Party to try and sort out the economic mess we're in. Okay? Compare that to a Prime Minister now who won't even apologise for getting us into this mess yeah, in the first place. What are you saying? I mean, are you saying that the world recession is Donald Brown's fault? I'm saying that we are one of the worst placed countries to survive the world recession because the policy is directly implemented by Gordon Brown. But which I, is why the International Monetary Fund say that we will still be in recession in 2010 when most of Europe have come out of it. The, you can't that blame the recession on Gordon Brown or, or anyone. I can blame the recession on the Chancellor for the last 11 years, which was Gordon Brown. What, the world recession? No, I'm talking recession. about the ability to cope with the recession. Yes, there is a world recession which has been brought about by a banking crisis, um, which, although he liked to say we started in America, all banks were culpable for because they weren't legislated for, okay, he didn't have that control, okay. What I'm saying is, is that the responsibility lies with Gordon Brown, because instead of actually paying off the national debt, instead of putting some of the GDP in reserve for this time, he borrowed, 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 because he believed that there was an end of boom and bust. He actually believed that, and it was pure arrogance to say, there will never be Tory boom and bust again, and therefore I can carry on borrowing on potential growth, Okay, running up huge debts because it doesn't matter because the economy would always grow. But Which David is, Cameron just apologised for not seeing it as well. Though David Cameron's apologised for um, saying that we did not shout about it loudly enough. Is that something that he didn't? He didn't. He didn't at he didn't all. Say loudly enough. Means he, didn't yeah, say he didn't say at all about what the banks were doing, and he's apologised for that. But this is the point. But they were going to stand the either. We've got some more questions. I mean, just to draw, draw the line up to that, the reason which I say is, is the difference between what we the Conservative government and the Labour government is that the Prime Minister, who we can talk about it after if you want, but, but which I believe um, is one of the main problems that will take us such a long time to recover from this recession. And if he's in power, he'll feel that he, he's not, he doesn't listen to people, he carries on. And he's not going to listen to his own Chancellor. Whereas you've got a fresh lot coming in, a fresh team, who are actually are talking about how we're going to tackle it. And actually saying, before an election, okay, times are going to be tough. How many politicians start to say, vote for me, and if you do, times are going to be tough, because we've got to sort this mess out. Um, that's a big thing to say to the public, but it shows the ambition and what needs to be done to sort things out, rather than saying, it will all be fine, things will grow again.